things. Because they are always thinking that once you have contact, there are children here, so I don't want to go into detail. Once you have contacts, you must concede. And because that contact has taken place, there must be something there. And if there's something there and you take anything to prevent it, you have killed a human being. No. If there is no connection between the egg and the uh, sperm, there is no life there. There's no life. Because the sperms that are released, they go and they, if they don't get any connection, they die. Is that abortion too? No. You see? If they don't find anything, they tend to die. The same thing with the egg. If it comes out and if it doesn't find any connection, it also what? Dies. Okay? And that one, nobody can say we, we committed an abortion. The same thing, the contraceptives are hormones that have been given to the woman to trick the body. Okay? This is what homo, uh, the contraceptives are. They are hormones that they are given to the woman's body. And when they are given, it tricks the body and tells the body, you are pregnant. This, this is what it tells them. And so when it tells the body, you are pregnant, there, there can be no more con uh, conception. So no egg is uh, 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 fertilized. It prevents it completely. But there is this, there, there is a stage where they, they call it uh, 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 the, uh, uh, the day after. The, there's a, a term that they call the day after. That one is very dangerous. As a Christian, stay away from the day after. Okay, you ask your doctors, they know it. I don't know if you women know it, but uh, if maybe maybe someday we have to talk about it. They call, there's a, 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 a one called the day after. That when you have a relationship with a man and you, have, you didn't pr uh, protect yourself with anything, you take a pill after you have committed that act. Okay? And that one, that one, as a Christian, it's completely forbidden because there could be a conception. Okay? If you, if you have unprotected uh, uh, relationship, because there are children here, I don't want to go deep, okay? You all understand me. When you have an un unprotected relationship, there is bound, there can be, not all, not all the time, but there could be conception, right? And there are parts of time, uh, parts of uh, this uh, thing where people, day after, they take it. And that terminates the pregnancy, if there is any. That one is wrong. That one, I don't recommend it. Okay? So... Maybe I'll have more time to deal. Okay, there are there are issues, instances in the Bible I will show you. Okay, okay. There is a man called uh, Onam. God God killed, yeah. and God killed him not because he practiced contraception, not because he practiced it. God killed him because of his motive. Okay, because that woman was given to him for him to raise seeds for his brother, and he wanted to have the woman. Just take the feeling, enjoy it, and not raise the seed. And that's why God killed him. Yeah. And not because of that, 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 that thing. So, we'll go to deep. Yes? Okay, I respect that one, but I believe from it. I still have a question to ask. Okay. And the question is, um, it's based on, uh, uh, the Bible tells us that yeah. the only reason a man should divorce a woman yeah. is when she kind of commits um, adultery, if yes. I'm not mistaken. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Does the same Bible tell a woman that the only reason you can divorce your husband mm -hmm. is when the husband commits sustenance? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you want to find if it the Bible says vice versa. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yes. Um, okay. If no, mm -hmm. the, the, does that not theoretically mean that mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to lose superiority? Yeah. Does that not theoretically mean that? The man mm -hmm. is somewhat yeah. more equal than the woman, a little bit equal. I wouldn't want to use superiority okay. than the woman. Okay. I don't know if you get my question. I get your question. Thank you. Okay. The answer categorically is what applies to the man with respect to divorce applies to the woman with respect to divorce. If the man commits adultery, the woman can divorce him. Uh, Western law. Okay. Moment, 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 moment. <laughs> moment. First, you need to understand this. 
that in much Jesus, this topic came up in Matthew 19 when they asked Jesus, Can a man divorce his wife for no reason? Okay, can a man divorce his wife for no reason? Those days, it was the men that were divorcing their wives, it wasn't the women that were divorcing the men, it was the men that were divorcing the women for any reason at all. If you can't cook, they will divorce you. If you can't, if you can't do well in bed, they can divorce you. If you, if you don't, if he doesn't like you anymore, he can divorce you. Okay, so this is what they were doing. So at that time in their culture, it was a practice of the men that divorced the women. That is why the Bible specifically mentioned that a man can give, leave his wife by giving her a bill of divorce and all these things. Okay, because it was the practice of the men. That is why the Bible did not mention. When you go home, read First Corinthians chapter seven. The Bible also talks about Paul was explaining it to the women, uh, to the to the Christians when he said that the woman must also not leave the husband. Okay, meaning that the women could also leave their husbands in the New Testament generation. So Paul was advising the women, don't do it. Okay, at the early generation, it was only the men that were doing it. And in the New Testament generation, the church of Corinth, it became a universal thing when the men were living, the women were living. So Paul advised them, don't do it. Okay. So in the Old Testament, that area, the Bible, the command, the, that, that, that law was trying to explain to them, both sides, uh, men, the men that were doing it, that don't do it for not, no reason at all. Okay. Except uh, uh, through, uh, 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 what, for, uh, what do you call it? Adultery. Okay. The men can commit adultery, the women can commit adultery. And when any one of them commits it, you can do it. But ideally, it is not good. Jesus said in the beginning, it wasn't like that. So he didn't recommend that men do it. But because uh, uh, Moses said, because of our stubbornness, that is why it was permitted. But in the, originally, it was not so. For us as Christians, we must deal with the original plan of God. Don't do it. Original plan of God, don't do it. Ideally, don't do it. But if both of you are killing each other, if both of you are about to murder each other, and it's not working, then it's better you go your way and she goes her way before one sends the other to hell. Okay? So, it was, a, it was a law that applied to both. But at that time of the generation, it was one-sided. Just like we talk about our culture. In our past culture, our parents went to work and the women cooked. But as culture grows and changes, it becomes vice versa. Okay? And so that is how it, it, it worked. Did I help you a little bit? A little bit. A little bit. Okay. Anyone else before I sit? Okay. Thank you very much. Let's have a watch here. Praise God. Thank you very, very much. I believe we gained something today. Do we gain something today? Praise God. Knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. Information is very, very important. Hallelujah. Uh, along the line, let me quickly say this. Uh, there is something among all that you have been saying that I quickly remember. Praise the Lord. You know, many a time, I will tell you how much my mother loves me. Is that not true? And how great she was to me. Is that not true? But I, I remember there was an occasion she nearly disowned me. It was a very serious matter. You know, every day we are learning. Don't forget that. Nobody's perfect. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. We learn every day. And learning helps us to move forward in life and to make a better life. And now, what caused this? It was a very short statement. Communication. 
we were talking, I and the other children, particularly the one that follows me in secondary school, and she says something to me. Then I, I, I use English to ask her a simple question. We probably are well, use my local dialect, but I use English. And the simple word was, what do you mean? Are you hearing what I'm saying? I just asked her, what do you mean by this? She looked at me two times and said, you say, what do you mean? <laughs> you become a different thing in time. Are you following what I'm saying? I can never forget it. Then my junior sister said, Is there anything wrong with that? So you think I don't hear English? My son asked me, What do you mean? <laughs> it was a tough case. <laughs> Are you hearing what I'm saying? It's communication. I have to apologize for my need. And thank God, uh, those that see me only were there to explain to her. What do you mean? Is there to ask your mother what you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. That is it. That is it. It was a tough case. It was nearly your school fee is over. You don't need to do that. And somehow, she said to me, Is another word saying, Who are you? You can be so bold to ask your mother, What do you mean? Are you policy? Who are you? You know, it's simple as that. But by the grace of God, we are having understanding every day just what can be an offense in this area. I don't do a joke in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I remember I was teaching my children Bini. And then we used to joke with one word. If you do this, where are you? Body will not continue. And then they continue to use it on me. That if you do it, where are you? <laughs> And somebody had it and said, you can't talk to your father like that. I said, leave her. She don't understand it. It's a joking matter. But uh, she can still be near at all. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so you see, somehow we have to lay. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. You know, I'm very happy to hear this. I'm helping myself every day by communication. I used to say this. If I will live the way I was brought up, it will be difficult for me. It will be very, very difficult. I'm telling you. It was so sweet, so really traditional. But we are no more there. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. We have to learn. Let us learn. Let us learn. A family left England. They live in England, have their children in England. It's a robot family. Is there any robot here? All right. And now when they get back home after all this, they were in their village in Sapele. They were still in the life they have been living in England for years. And they sat down the table and were eating. And some of the family members of the, of the man came and said, what is happening? Eating the same table with your wife? <laughs> that was the end of the marriage. I'm telling you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The woman to only help herself to God be the glory that she had British past. We went back to Britain. She's still British and the man married another man in Africa. Is still living back. Because in the robot tradition, in the very top robot tradition, when the man is eating, the woman sits down close to her, to him. Every feed that comes to the mouth mingle. Bread. So we need that until the man finish eating. Tradition. Are you following me? No. It wasn't so. We were living. They could hold on together, they could live together. And the man liked it and he enjoyed it. But when he got to, he couldn't introduce that 
for his family. Mm.